One elder said one time, if you want to understand life, come with me into the forest, come with me to the land, and I will teach you about life. And that was a profound truth that our ancestors understood that the land was the, was the teacher and the greatest teacher for all of us. But we ignore her. Then we rely on someone else's teaching that have no understanding of the sacredness of life itself, has no understanding of creation, has no understanding that there is an interconnectedness with all life, that we are related to all life. <laughs> Hello. What you all doing? Drinking some coffee, waiting for our trip to Sagin. We drain the water pump in there, so you guys are gonna have to manually haul water into there if he's gonna be cooking with it. We're at uh, we're at Turtle Lodge. Uh, we're out here for a cultural retreat, and I'm kind of excited about it. This is my first time. It's actually pretty fascinating. I think it's beautiful in here. Yeah. What are you, what are you excited for? I'm excited yeah. for the sweat. What is that? Your sausage. Scrambled eggs with cheese. Man, I don't know if I could. Potatoes, hash browns. It's the first day, so see what's in the in the store for tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, what? What is what? Probably. <laughs> I brought him more clothes. Yeah, I was like, what is that? So how did your day look like and did you enjoy it? Today was good. We went rock picking for the sweat. And we also picked some cedar to start the fire up. And then piled the rocks in the fire before it got started. Like a turtle, which I really thought was cool. <clears throat> and it actually looked like a turtle the way we made it. Whenever I witness young people like yourself that come to the lodge, you know, to to learn about who you are, it really it really fills my heart. I would have to say my favorite part of today would be my first time with a sweat. I felt really good. I felt relaxed. It helped me a lot with some of the things that happened in the past. You know, when I was when I was done, I felt um, <clears throat> kind of weightless. I came out there feeling alive, you know. All of a sudden, I heard <clears throat> like drums kind of. Yeah. You know, so I didn't want to turn around and look, but not trippy though. It was really nice to have young people see what we've done from time immemorial and feel safe about it and being able to learn new ways of expressing themselves spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. By learning more about yourself you'll be able to know where you're going forward in your future. You know we, we've been given ceremonies and to me 
You know, that's what our identity is. We're a ceremonial people. You know, and to me, that is what has helped my life. You know, is, is, is the ceremonies of our people. That is what's helped me, like the sweat lodge. And the spirit is always the same, no matter what lodge that I went into, you know, across the country. That spirit is still the same. It's about the original people that we are, that hold that kindness, because we are a kind people. message that I received this weekend was like that youth are the future and that it's important that we do pass on the knowledge because elders aren't always going to be here forever like that's how the way of life survives it just keeps going and going. And My name is Josephine Kakagamek. My spirit name is Loon Woman. And yesterday I received my colors and this whole like Thing just opened up my eyes and makes me want to change my life for the better for my mom. It was really good. I experienced a lot and learned a lot of new things. And yeah, I'm really thankful for being here to come out and experience this. Yeah. I feel like I healed a lot and I've only been here three days, two nights. I think it's a really good experience for the youth to have this opportunity to be able to step away from all of the distractions inside the city. I feel like a connection to this place though after everything we did here. It's the first place I literally feel like I can express who I am instead of keeping it bottled up. And I will miss being at the lodge a lot. I really enjoyed making the medicine pouches with Erica and also the skirt making. I really love the teachings. I really want to learn about myself more and my culture, my identity. There's a reason why our brothers and sisters have arrived on our homeland because they forgot they forgot about the earth and here we are you know they try to destroy us but they couldn't do it we still hold on to that spirit of the love that we have for the land the love that we have for life and we are to teach them you know what some of the elders say you know some of our younger brothers have come to meet the elder brothers. We are the elder brothers that have been given the duty and responsibility to teach people, you know, how to take care of the land, how to be good to each other, how to help each other. And that is what, you know, and where our strength is. Our strength is in our way of life. Our strength is in our identity and who we are. So I wish you all the best, you know, that life can offer you. Let the Spirit guide you and protect you. Thank you again for, for coming. You guys.